All right, we have one more keynote for the day. Um, uh, this one is really interesting. It's going to be on decentralized computing and calling it the powerhouse behind affordable AI. So with me today, I have Dr. Lee, the co-founder of Exhibits, who will be giving this keynote presentation. Give it up for Dr. Lee. Hello, everyone. Um, so it's very late in the day. It's been a long time, so I'll try to be, make it very short, brief, and interesting. So in 1965, the Morse law was introduced that said the number of transistors in an integrated circuit would double every year. Right? So, so this was a time when the world was just obsessed with semiconductors and their potential applications. And fast forward 60 years, um, the spotlight is on artificial intelligence. And the experts estimate that the complexity of AI system would double every three months. And that's equivalent to a rate of 16 times a year. Um, and as we've all experienced sort of the, the craze, craze around NVIDIA in the recent months, um, the world has quickly come to realize that there's simply not enough compute to power the explosive growing demand of artificial intelligence. So at Exhibits, we're tackling this problem head on. We're building a decentralized computing platform for affordable AI at scale. And we do this by partitioning and distributing computing loads over a network of weak GPUs provided by individuals, small businesses, and institutions. We're a blockchain-based computing protocol connecting developers with contributors. And by tapping into the long tail of idle, machine learning capable computer around the world, we get to forego the large cost of housing cooling, operating a large traditional data center. And this allows us to provide computation at the fraction of the cost typically offered by traditional players. So we're cheap, that's good, but what about performance? So here on the screen, I have two tables summarizing performance of different chips um, running inference on a large language model with 7 billion parameters. Okay? So in this competition, we have the consumer grade NVIDIA and AMD chips uh, competing against the commercial grade a Tesla A800 and 100s. And as you can see, as measured by loading time, inference time, tokens per second, the consumer grade chips do just as well as the commercial grade ones. Okay? But what about scaling? So when we look at uh, and run the same test over a larger model with 13 billion parameters by doubling the, the number of chips, we again get very comparable competitive performance across the board. Albeit for the consumer grade chips, um, the performance time is slightly super linear uh, because of uh, the communication overhead. And then for AI training, we've tested on a 3090 chip uh, training on a Llama 7 billion model with 50,000 data points. And it took us a mere a five hours to, to fully train the model. And then more, for the more higher end, the general purpose, more sophisticated AI models, much like ChatGPT of OpenAI, we have H100 SXM InfiniBand, the very highest, most sophisticated uh, form of commercial grade chips available on TAP. So who are some of the customers that are using Exhibits? We have Stable Diffusion uh, using our services for image and content generation. So these guys are using scaled down small AI model. And they're using our compute for fine tuning and inference. And they're using our AMD MI50 processors to do this. We have GameKiller using Exhibits for customer service robots that are run on GPTJ and TigerBot 7B. And across the board, what we're realizing is mo mo much of our demand is coming from small businesses that are not looking to replicate and compete and develop their own ChatGPT 4.0, but in more scaled down, customized versions where most of the use cases are on fine tuning and inference. We're distinguished from our decentralized competitors in that we have a comprehensive range 
of products on hand that we offer to customers. So we have the hundreds of individual contributors consisting of the consumer grade NVIDIA and AMD chips, all the way up to H100 Tensor Core SXM servers that are available to us through uh, professional ETH mining rigs. Our team consists of um, a global members with deep knowledge and experience in computing and AI experience. Uh, my co-founder is there, sitting there, Zach. Uh, he has his PhD from, in computer science from Princeton with over 10 years of experience in cloud computing and blockchain. Uh, John Thorpe, one of our uh, key researchers uh, with PhD in CS from UCLA. He's an expert in affordable training for very large resource intensive AI models. And we have an all-star engineering team um, from Snapchat, TikTok, Meta, VMware, and Huawei. We have an all-star advisory board. Uh, the chairman of our board is Mr. Tim Chen, um, who was a former chairman and president of, of Motorola China and CEO of Microsoft Greater China, and is currently the president and group managing director of Tesla uh, Telstra International Group. Um, so we were launched in December 2021, and until just um, early part of this year, we were sort of struggling to really find our identity and find a really compelling use case. And then, of course, ChatGPT was unveiled, and artificial intelligence has just been a great tailwind for our product. Uh, so I hope you get to follow us on our journey at exhibits.ai. Thank you.